target with that one ball delivery one ball dismissal rather of Mike Atherton and then the mix up and the run out there certainly has been a good day so far for the West Indies in every respect Courtney Walsh then bowling the first over of this innings from the northern end Alex Stewart's first ball and uh, yes you did hear a firm call of weight Robin, Stewart, uh, Robin Smith England's most experienced batsman Alex Stewart one of the men who's been in good touch and good form on this tour Two, but should be going down leg side and despite the excitement out on the field and in the stands the umpire safely for England's purpose is saying not out and as you can see there that ball did quite a lot Alex Stewart hadn't gotten a lot forward but it did enough to have missed the leg stump certainly very safe there and we saw Junior Murray heading down the leg side that ball was safely going down the leg side. Yes, always a, a key point here for an umpire to bear in mind when Courtney Walsh is the bowler, as he does tend to bowl from wide of the crease. So the standard angle for Courtney Walsh is one that's coming in from quite wide of off stump in towards the stumps. Basically, that angle of attack is imagine the, the ball's coming from somewhere around here when Courtney, and Courtney Walsh lets it go. And so, anything really coming in towards the stumps, if it's hitting the batsman in front of the stumps, then the line of that ball is going to take it down towards the leg side. Well, Richardson across quickly but unable to stop it. A little bit of a bobble as that ball reached the West Indies captain. For the first time in this innings, the runs overtake the wickets. Three for two, England. It's in the gap as well. Just the one this time to Alex Stewart. England now four for two. West Indies averaging one wicket per over. Courtney Walsh must be feeling left out. Kirtley Ambrose has got two. Mark Rampercash run out, of course. And Courtney Walsh being made to wait while Graham Hick a little bit of gardening in the middle of the pitch just taking time to compose himself oh, that's close but uh, going down leg side again that angle of delivery from Courtney Walsh yes if Courtney Walsh wants to do that much off the seam he has to pitch the ball quite a bit further outside the off stone that ball again angled down the leg side And as you can see there, Graham Hick well back, but too much movement off the scene. 
Well, that's past Keith Arthurton. And that'll run away for four. It's a nice shot from Graham Hick, nicely timed. One of the few misfields you'll see from Keith Arthurton. Both Courtney Walsh and Kirtley Ambrose have concentrated very much on keeping the ball right up to the bat so far. They know that the English batsmen have had problems playing the shorter deliveries. They know that the English batsmen are aware of what's possible, but they've been attacking that off stump almost exclusively. put out of his mind absolutely every thought apart from concentrating solely on that cricket ball that's coming towards him. Whatever problems he's had today, a couple of drop chances and the slips there, those have got to go, they're behind him. Well, that's going to be a tester. Not out, 12 for three. 